Well, first, Sam, you've been here before. You know, you've you've, you've seen the crowds, you've seen everything. Can you kind of lay out the scene for me. What what you what somebody when they walk into that room, what is the thoughts that go that go through their head when they're coming up? Because I know they're excited. I know they're getting to do this. But what typically runs through their head as they walk into that room and see see that wall of people? You know, when I was trying out for the show, I walked into the room and there's just thousands of people here trying to trying to become, you know, the next ultimate fighter. And the number one thing that just ran through my head time and time again was, I think that guy's bigger than me. And it's just over and over again. Whether they're, you know, I went out for the, the 85 season, whether they're 170 or 205, I thought, oh, I think that guy's bigger than me. And I'm sure everyone out there is thinking the same thing. When you're sitting there and you know, you, uh, you know, you, you got to do all the things, I mean, is it is it hard to just kind of keep focus? Is it is it easy easy to get caught up in the emotion of the whole thing? Because you know you got to grapple, you know you got to hit and mitts. I mean, oh, I thought he called me. Um, kind of is it just tough for guys? I mean, did you have a hard time sort of maintaining your focus and maintaining and not getting too overexcited because of just the sheer of everything that's happening there? During the tryouts, I could definitely see people getting amped up, you know, a little nervous because their their future could depend on two minutes of grappling or a minute and a half of pad holding. Uh, so I, I can see people getting real nervous. I, you can almost feel it out there. There's a little bit of an electricity in the room uh, as everyone's getting ready and psyching themselves up and again thinking, oh, I think that guy's bigger than me. I hope he doesn't hit harder than me. <laughs> so what would you say if you had to give advice to, if, to the, if you were speaking to those guys out there, what sort of advice would you give to somebody that was going through this? Uh, th the best advice I could give someone who's going through this is just be relaxed. I mean, act like you've done this before, even if you haven't. Uh, the cream will always rise to the top. If you're the best in the room, you will be found out by the UFC. And speak to what this whole process does. How good do you think this whole tough process of bringing these guys in, weeding them out, having them go through the, the house, and then make it into, do you think that this is the, this is the best way to bring fighters into the UFC? Looking at the amount of talent that the Ultimate Fighter has brought to the UFC, I think it's proven that this is the best way to do it. Uh, there are people that go out there and just win and win and win and win, uh, but that takes a long time until the UFC sees you. This here, it's a good shot for everyone to get in the room, show off their talent, sh show their record, and uh, find their way into the UFC, and that, that'll help a career. Uh, that that $100,000 prize you win at the end of it, uh, that, that's enough to, to make a, fight, a good fighter into a great fighter. And seeing the room, seeing the, feeling the excitement in the room, is this something that you'd ever put yourself into? Again, if you ever had to? Uh, you know what, if the UFC ever needed me to do something, I would do it. it whether it means stands in a room and trial for a TV show again, or uh, you know, jump on my head. Whatever they want, I'm their man. And finally, what are your thoughts on this, year, uh, this uh, season with the way that they went gym against gym? You think that's a unique approach and are you enjoying it so far? Yeah, the, this season they're doing the, the Black Zillions versus uh, American Top Team. And uh, I, I'm loving it. I, I like the idea. I think it. I think it's. You know, I haven't been this excited about a season since uh, since I've been on it. Awesome. <laughs>